Tai always has been the perfect and the rule bike for us. It often gets described as a one bike for all. It sits perfectly at the sweet spot between the Eugene and the Spindrift, and we actually wanted to keep it where it is. But still, we found some ways to improve the overall riding experience, the riding noise and the cable routing on the bike. For the new day, we optimized the geometry of our Pro 10 frame just a tiny bit. The reach has grown by 5mm across the sizes. The head angle has slackened by half a degree. The seat tube length has decreased by 1cm, so long travel dropper posts can easily be used on all frame sizes. The frames have become 10% stiffer in the rear triangle, and also the weight was important for us. On the aluminum frame, we saved 300 grams. We tweaked our Pro 10 suspension system to achieve a little less end progression. By doing so, now we have a bike that really works super well with coil shocks and air shock. So no matter what shock you choose, the bike rides more subtle and offers you more control on rough terrain. The new TAI offers the golden ratio of capability, agility and efficiency. Reducing the riding noise was very important for us, so we set out to do it in two areas, cable routing and frame protection. With the new cable routing across the main pivot points of the rear triangle and the chainstay protection from a soft TPR rubber, the new TAI is absolutely silent. It's really game-changing how you don't hear anything but the tires on the trail. Cable routing is always challenging on a new bike, so we did put a lot of emphasis on it. We actually checked a lot of systems out there and didn't really find the one which suits our propane bikes, but there was one solution which showed a lot of potential, which was ICR, Integrated Cable Routing. We already saw a lot of clean looking bikes with that solution, which didn't have any cable noise anymore, and also didn't have unnecessary holes, which you need to cover when you use a wireless drivetrain, for example. But we thought we could make it even better. So we teamed up with Sixpack and Acros and made our own solution. We wanted to have it like a real gravity bike solution, which means for us it's a CNC stem and also fully adjustability as we know from our regular bikes. So we made CNC stems in Germany in two different lengths, 35mm and 50mm. We also have spacers which are made of two separate pieces, so it's actually quite easy to assemble and disassemble them. It is fully adjustable and you can even do it on a trial, it's super simple. The cables are not going through the stem, they are actually going through the rubber piece which is attached to the stem, so it's quite simple to assemble and disassemble. To prevent additional maintenance work, we made the system bulletproof. The ICR system is completely sealed. On the cable inlets, we actually use a pinch through sealing and the top bearing is having an additional IPS sealing. So there's no way for water or dust to get inside the frame. But when you still think it's not for you, we still offer external cable routing on the alloy frames. On the new TAI, we now use a flip chip. This makes it possible to run a full 29 setup or a mixed wheel setup on the same frame. When changing the flip chip from the high to the low position, you can achieve the same geometry on a full 29 inch setup or a mixed wheel setup. But of course, you can also run the flip chip in a low setting in the mixed wheel setup and then you just get a really aggressive jump. To round up the clean look of the new TAI, we integrated our brake mount into the rear triangle of the frame. By doing so, it not only looks clean, we also achieve a better transfer of braking forces into the frame. Come visit us at one of our headquarters or at our demo days and check out the all new Taiyi.